Hey guys, this is Reefer Explained. This is gonna is my new channel basically going on um, reefing tips, tricks, um, but this today is on the Red Sea, my reef tank, Red Sea E260. Uh, it's an all-in-one system, it originally was, but I've upgraded, so I'll just go through what, what the tank comes with and uh, what to expect from this. So uh, first things first is you get the uh, Reef LED uh, 90 lights, LEDs, uh, controlled via the app, um, very sleek, uh, mountain arms at the back of the tank, um, easy to uh, take this part off the top, uh, then you can get to the fan, clean it. Um, the lights are on a hinge. Sorry, you, you can't see anything because of the blue light, but there we go. They hinge up if you wanted to, to do any maintenance. Um, and uh, you've got this black panel here on the tank. It's just basically to hide your filtration. Um, down here would be your circulation pump. One at either side, 4,300 liters per hour, I believe. Uh, in this part here you can put a, uh, a heater of some sort or a reactor one of the ones that hang on um, this section here is obviously my return pump my emergency drain that's flowing uh, dripping into the side and then the main drain um, this section here would basically be for the um, red sea protein skimmer that it comes with and i'll go through that in a second my uh, heater is a 300 uh, watt heater um, I'd like to come back to you on the brand of that. Uh, I think it was a good brand, just can't remember what I bought now. Uh, it used to have a 400 watt uh, high door. It was too powerful and uh, why do I need a 400 watt for this size tank? It's uh, 260 liters or 69 gallons, so I downgraded to a 300 watt. Something newer um, because the old one was a year and a half and uh, I just don't want to take the chances. I just replace it now every year. It's just easier that way for 30, 40 pounds. Why not? This section here would be the um, basket media that they give you. Uh, it's just trash. I just just uh, put that in the cupboard now because um, you know you can put the sponges, some carbon, uh, some filter floss in there. I upgraded because I was having uh, some problems with the filtration side of it. So I've done the sump now other circulation pump here and you can just uh, put this back up um, we're gonna go to the um, protein skimmer guys this is the Red Sea um, protein skimmer that it comes with um, it's got a collection cup um, the main problems with this uh, whole whole uh, protein skimmer the the cup is smoked so you can't see the level of the foam inside the main uh, part here so that's pointless the gate is really hard to control you have to push it up and down it's it's judgmental it's uh noisy it's heavy so to get this box out when you want to do maintenance on the pinwheel of the protein skimmer uh it's just pointless and the cable here got stripped because it got caught between when i was trying to do maintenance so that came out so that's my two cents on that trash Okay guys, working my way down. You don't get this with the tank. You have to buy it as an additional add-on, which kind of felt that it was a bit uh, cheeky. So yeah, you don't get the screen top uh, covered. You have to buy this extra. It's about 40, 50 pounds, I believe. Uh, you put it together yourself. Um, but there we go, there's that side of it. The glass is, uh, I believe, nine millimeters thick, super clear uh, with black um, silicon and the black background um, is obviously hiding the weir. Um, so um, it's nice because you, you don't see any of the algae being attached to the glass or anything like that. All the filtration's hidden by in there. Um, the, the pumps, uh, let me just turn this light off, sorry guys. Uh, the the uh, nozzles, you could, they're redirectional so you can uh, direct them wherever you need to go to. Um, it's a great tank, you know, um, lots of aquascape, lots of a uh, ton of fun. You're not going to get any major big, you know, fish in here. Um, just got a couple of clownfish and a uh, radiant wrasse. Um, so um, going uh, underneath um, what you get with the all-in-one system is you get this control panel here. And this is going to be your protein skimmer that I've just shown you that I didn't like. Uh, there's the on and off. Um, these are all kind of plastic plugs, so they, you know, if you got wet hands, it's great. Uh, circulation pumps one and two, I've marked them up and still using them. Reactor I've put in here. 
and these are spare this is the heater you could plug in here if you wanted to i haven't done that and the lighting system that's on that i've got already originally uh installed this is the uh um extension plug that you get with it so basically they're two prong and you can just put them in and then uh cord them to the there uh the sump um here i'm just gonna talk you through the piping situation you get all the pipes with it and it's really easy to install just make sure when you install it don't screw it too tight um make sure that it's re really um sealed properly and you've put the right pipe in the right place don't uh, rush this um take your time and uh, this is your ball valve um, and for the main drain. It's really fin finicky. Um, if you know about a lot more about um, reefing or you know someone, maybe change that out. It, once you've got it dialed in, it's fine. It's working now, but it took me a, a few months to get this uh, rolling. Uh, I kept um, my kept my weir kept moving on on the pumps, and the, um, there was a you know flow situations and the controllability of it is uh, trash really. Um, let's just say that um, the emergency drain is this one here coming down. It's got a you can tell it's this is the, got the kink in it. It's a smaller tube slightly. The emerge the the return pump um, is the green one here. This one here, and this is just connected all the way down to my uh, Jacob 4000 DC controllable uh, return pump set at 50 percent. That works really well for me. Um, the uh sump where like kind of overflow comes into this main baffle here let's just come back a bit uh into these nylon filter socks the 225s um and i've got floss in there um and i just remove that out and obviously clean these socks out every three days uh just keeps the system nice and clean um the sump design as well a couple of things is that the height of the water is only 46 liters i believe i'm not sure this here, for instance, I had a, a Bubble Magnus Curve 7 in here, and uh, no, it didn't work. Uh, the Bubble Magnus Curve 7 has to be in 9 inches of water, I believe, around here, 9 to 11. Uh, this was running, I think, around 7.5, and, 8, and so I had to get something else, which was the Deltec 400i DC, um, and uh, this is working beautiful because it's between 15 and 22 centimeters, so it meets that margin perfectly well. Uh, I've got some bio biomedia in here. Biomedia, make sure it's after your filtration, so your filter socks and maybe your protein skimmer. If you've got another baffle, you could put it in there, but I just don't want to put it near the return pump in case it gets uh, clogged or or something happens. Um, you know, so uh, I've got it here. I've, got, I've added some uh, extra biomedia. It's just cheap stuff from. Uh, all pond solutions works well got some um uh, carbon in the bag uh replace once a month on the bag uh, just i uh, just just do i know that it probably gets exhausted before then uh at the back we've got <coughs> some more um biomedia and i've got some max spec two bricks um that i bought um, when i started the system uh and uh there is a foam insert i'm just going to come back here a foam insert that's a black um chorus uh it's like stops the bubbles and stops all the uh detritus going into that main part there okay um the blue light there is my ato that i'm using i'm not using the stock version which is the white ball valve here um just didn't want to use it um so this is my blue ato light um it is auto aqua the mini one works really well um what else can I say? Got a fan on here. It's connected. Um, it's just an uh, again an all pond solution six speed fan, uh, relatively cheap. It's plugged into my um, temperature controller, so it's currently at seventy eight point eight. Um, target is seventy nine. The heater kicks on at seventy eight, clicks off at seventy nine, and then it just runs down. When it gets to seventy eight, goes back on again. Once it gets to eighty, however, the fan will kick on. And inside the sump here, it does a great job of cooling when the doors are closed, uh, the, the evaporation cooling helps, um, but that's not what I've got all on this system to help with that problem. Uh, as you know, sometimes heat can be a real problem and uh, we'll run through that. Um, here you've got UV sterilizer plugged in, it's uh, Eheim 350, um, which is just up here. Uh, I can go through this a little bit more in depth and detail. Got some uh, wireless uh, Wi-Fi plugs on here on my ATO so I can turn it off when I'm doing a water change. Same with my return pump. 
um, and um, I've got a uh, H2O Guardian on my protein skimmer um, and uh, that's on there because uh, if I need if it ever gets full if I'm away this will just automatically shut off and it won't overflow it has got a built-in overflow uh, system on this uh, Dell Tech which is uh, genius uh, in case the water level was too high in the sump for some reason uh, the water would go into that pipe there, that little clear pipe, and shut off the bubbles, uh, not allowing the crud here to overflow into the sump. Um, but that D&D Guardian is just an extra added uh, kind of uh, to make sure, just in case it uh, ever gets full, but it doesn't. I always keep an eye on it. I empty it about halfway. I've got a uh, TMC reactor here. I think it's a 100. It's the new ones that came out. It's got a little pump underneath it. Uh, put carbon in there. I have run rower FOSS before, um, but rower is not really helping my situation with the algae. Uh, I'll talk you through that another time. Got a two dose uh, here, TMC. Uh, pretty pretty uh, standard with a clip on uh, bracket here and uh, I've got my calcium and KH uh, set up here yeah it's not it's not pretty um, I just got these from Poundland mark them up exactly what I'm 80 grams and 50 grams uh, and this is using the aqua forest uh, powder mix with RO water and uh, this does a great job of keeping up with my uh, conditions in my tank so it's uh, I've measured them out and I'm running at 9 dK 9, 9 to 9.2 on on alkalinity and uh, 425 on my calcium. Uh, then the main parameters are keeping an eye on more than anything else. Got this duck pond liner that I bought when I originally set up the tank, and I will always do this from now on. This is in here, uh, and all the way, all the way at the back, and all the way underneath the sump. Um, if there's any spillages that co go over um, or maintenance, I've got a pipe, and it comes loose, which it has done when I'm trying to do into a sock. Uh, it's gone all in here, splashed in here. I can just get take this stuff out, wipe it out, and uh, the stand is kept safe um, even though it's probably epoxied and everything else it just drips straight off here and doesn't even touch the stand um, and I just want to keep it that way I just want to keep this stand nice and uh, robust I don't want any problems with uh, st stability or if I go to sell the system uh, it's kept it nice so you think about that duck pond liner underneath really cheap um, and uh, it's a uh, it's it's uh, an added bonus it may not look pretty in here but it's functional. Uh, guys, if you like this video, give it a like, a uh, thumbs up. It looks like a power station in there, I know. Uh, I've tried my best to uh, tidy up this cabling system. I've bought all kinds of things, but in the end, it is a sump, and it's just really where all your filtration goes to hide. Um, it's got a light underneath that I put there. It's just one from Amazon, uh, and uh, it's on a USB chargeable, which I've got it on a Wi-Fi plug. I can turn on and off to charge it. Uh, great added bonus because when you open up the sump you can see everything you need to see when you close the doors it's completely silent and um, yep I'm really happy with this system uh, it's running really well my ATO just quickly uh, not this bin here this bin here is my mixing station which I need to do something about I need to go further back and behind here I've got a 25 drum for my ATO that I'm running uh, my clean ATO water coming in for my auto top off as we all know what that is um guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up like describe uh subscribe uh appreciate any help uh any comments that you have on the video today anything you want to know about hit me up thanks bye